Hello everyone, I'm Chang Li from the Department of Chemistry and my supervisor is Professor Linda Snazer. The title of my research is tuning the solvation structure in aqueous zinc batteries to maximize zinc ion interpolation and optimize dendrite-free zinc plating. As we all know, humankind is eager to find a renewable energy to solve energy shortage and environmental pollution problems, such as solar energy and wind energy. These energies, however, are produced unevenly from time to time, position to position. How to store them so that we can use them whenever and wherever we want? Well, one of the answers is to build large-scale energy storage stations. As one of the multivalent ion batteries, aqueous zinc ion batteries attract research attention due to their low cost, high safety, and high discharge capacity, and the higher redox potential makes it more suitable to work in aqueous electrolyte. These properties make aqueous zinc ion batteries a superior candidate for large-scale energy storage stations. However, many issues need to be solved in this area including suppressing the deleterious proton co-integration and maximize zinc integration. And my recent work aims to realize this goal. In my research, lithium vanadium phosphate, or LVP, was used as an example cathode. Its electrochemistry was tested in both four molar zinc triplet and a water insert for wise electrolyte. As you can see, in zinc triplet, a 0.5 volts plateau gradually appears and becomes longer when charging discharging continues, indicating the increase in proton integration. In contrast, in WISE, there is an absence of this plateau. The origin of such a pulse electrochemistry comes from the different structure evolution of LVP that was investigated by XLE. As shown in this figure, a phase conversion from LVP to vanadium oxide was identified due to dominant proton integration. <coughs> On the contrary, LVP phase was sustained with little change when operating in WISE. This retrovial refinement confirms the dominant zinc integration with minimum proton integration. A further ex situ study shows a reversible zinc integration and a deintegration in LVP and a good structural stability of LVP. In addition, we also designed a new electrolyte with reduced water activity by a hybrid solvent. This electrolyte shows high compatibility with zinc anode, showing a dendrite-free and high reversible zinc plating stripping performance. Suppressed proton integration was further confirmed by using LVP electrode, with near 100% capacity achieved due to zinc integration in this hybrid electrolyte. Finally, I would like to thank my supervisor, Professor Linda Afnazer, and all my fellow group members for their kind support and help in my research.